President Obama, when he was running his campaign in 2008, said that, look, man, I'm going to change the game in Washington entirely. We're not going to go and, you know, be at the beck and call of lobbyists, have them work for us. In fact, he even ran an ad called Billy where he talked about that. Here, let's watch that. That's an example of the same old game playing in Washington. You know, I don't want to learn how to play the game better. I want to put an end to the game playing. Here, here, President Obama. Yes, he does want to play the same old game a little better. He wants to end the game playing in Washington with all these uh, lobbyists, etc. That's why when he came into office, he said, no, that's it. Uh, you will not be able to work in the White House for at least two years if you were a lobbyist before that. Okay, great. Hmm, look at this. Turns out uh, that they are hiring yet another lobbyist to work inside the White House. This guy's name is Marty Payone. He works with Prime Policy Group. Now, before that, he worked 29 years in the Senate, so he's got a lot of experience. Um, he's also got experience as a lobbyist. One of the things he's been lobbying on is the Keystone XL pipeline. He wants it built because he gets paid for that. Uh, now, they claim he's not going to lobby the White House about that. Okay, fine. Now, let's take them at their word because the story is not really about that. It's about systemic corruption. Uh, what is this gentleman going to do? Well, he's going to be the new deputy assistant for legislative affairs to serve as liaison to the Senate. So let's pause here and understand what they just did. The White House hired a lobbyist to lobby Congress. They're the White House. Corruption in Washington has gotten so bad, you can't do anything without a lobbyist. Nobody will pay attention to you. If you're a constituent, oh, good luck. Your senator is going to give a damn about what you think. He doesn't care at all. You've got to come in with a check. You've got to come in with a lobbyist. Now, even the president has to hire a lobbyist to lobby Congress for him. He's the president. Amazing. Corruption is complete. It has taken over the entire body politic in Washington. So now, wait, you weren't supposed to hire lobbyists at all. In fact, the Washington Post explains, under an Obama executive order, no person who has lobbied an executive agency can work there for at least two years, uh, but exceptions can be made. Well, I'm sure they just made one or two exceptions, right? Hmm. A White House official said 61 executive branch employees, including Payone, have received waivers from parts of the ethics pledge. Uh, when we start making waivers to the ethics pledge, we already begin to have an issue. And you didn't do it once or twice, 61 times. And uh, why did you do it in this case? It was in the, quote, public interest to grant Payone the waiver. Of course it was. No, here's what's in our public interest. It's in our public interest to make sure that our politicians aren't so corrupt that you couldn't possibly talk to them unless you hire a lobbyist. <laughs> it's in our interest for our representatives to represent us. That's, supposed to, that's literally not only in their job title, it's the job itself. They, in the House, they are representatives, right? Now the only people they represent is their donors. So if you don't have a lobbyist, even the president's going to have trouble talking to them. It's just a little symbol of what has happened in Washington, man. So there is one way out. There is one answer. It's that you remove the money in politics. Because as long as these guys are dependent on the money to get reelected, they are going to serve the money. My conservative friends who think that government is corrupt, I hear you, brother. Who do you think corrupted them? The guys with the checks. The donors who sent in the lobbyists, they're the ones who corrupted them. So, and they work in unison, and, and it's not become so absurd that they're lobbying one another in order to even have a conversation. Let's fix it. Let's have real debates about real principles in this country. Wolf-pack.com. Every American should agree with us. In fact, almost all of you do. 95% of Americans say money corrupts politics. You're goddamn right it does. Let's fix it. We've already won in three states. We're well on our way in 10 states. We're coming. Wolf-pack.com. Be part of the answer, man. We do believe in changing the way the game is played, and this is how you change it.